Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the Reverberate plugin in Reaper. Now, Reverberate is a reverb that comes with Reaper, but it shouldn't be confused with Reverb, which also comes with Reaper. But that plugin is used for IR reverbs or impulse response reverbs. The Reverberate plugin is more of a basic digital reverb. So we're going to go through it using the most used sources for reverb. I'm going to start off with drums. And I have a drum project right in front of me here. Let's see what it sounds like dry. It's a pretty small room. So I want to add some reverb to it to make it sound like it was recorded in a bigger space. So we'll do that with reverb and the Reverberate plugin. So let's create a track below the drums. And we'll name it Reverb. Then we're going to send the drum tracks to this effects return. Now I'm not going to send the kick over here, just the snare, the two toms, and the overheads. I'll hold on Shift, go to the routing, and drop it on the Reverb track. Then we'll go to the effects on this track. We'll go down here to the Reaper plugins, and we'll choose Reverberate. And it looks like this. We're going to turn off the dry sound and bring up the wet, because the dry sound for the drums is coming from here, and the wet sound will come from here, or this plugin. So let's go through the parameters. First, we have room size. That determines how big the room sounds, whether it's small or large. Then we have dampening. That allows us to choose how the room is treated. With no dampening, it's a very live room. With a lot of dampening, it's a very dead room where the sound isn't bouncing around on the walls or the floor. Then we have stereo width. How wide the reverb sounds, we can go more mono or more stereo. Then we have initial delay, which is the same thing as pre delay, which will add a delay before we hear the reverb, which makes it sound a bit bigger, but also more interesting. Then down over here, we have a low pass filter and a high pass filter. The reverb sounds too bright, we could bring this down. Or if it sounds too boomy, we could bring this up. Now, personally, I prefer to EQ even more than this. So, what I'm going to do is go back to the plugins on this track, and I'm going to add an EQ after Reverberate. We'll use the Reaper one, Re EQ, and put it after it. I'll get rid of my high pass. I'll keep the low shelf and get rid of this band EQ and this one. And now we're just left with a low shelf and a high shelf. So we can make it sound more bassy or less or brighter or not as bright, which is a bit different from doing it with a low pass filter and a high pass filter. But we can use both. So let's float both of these. And now it'll go in this order. First, it goes to the reverb, then it goes to our EQ. We could flip the order, but that's going to be more subtle. So let's go through what it sounds like on drums. Starting with the default. Now, I should mention there are a bunch of presets in here, and they're all pretty good. So check these out when you get a chance. But we're going to create our own by going through each parameter. So let's start with our default and play around with the room size. Let's make it bigger. And notice, the bigger we make it, the more we want to bring down the actual effect. So it's a tight balance between all the parameters and the actual volume of the reverb. So as we go through this, notice I constantly tweak the amount of reverb.
That's pretty big. Let's see how big it gets. Now let's play around with the dampening. Bring it down a bit. Let's undampen it so it's a very live room. Or we could dampen it for more of a dead sound. Now let's check out the stereo width. We can make it more mono. Or more wide or more stereo. And now let's check out the pre-delay or initial delay. Let's bring it up a bit. And notice what happens when we delay when the reverb starts. Pretty cool. Now let's mess around with the low pass and the high pass. So we can cut down on the top end. Or we can cut down on the low end so it's not as boomy. Now let's hear the same thing with some EQ. We could bring up the low end, make it sound deeper. Or go the other way and make it sound brighter. Pretty flexible. Now let's try it out with a guitar. The dry sound sounds like this. Let's bring it in. Let's make it thinner. Well, let's make it fatter and make it longer.
pretty cool, but we can go really small for a very tight sound. Sounds pretty good all different ways. Now let's hear it on a vocal. Let's start by hearing a dry. Last night I opened my guitar case, found some words on a pale white page that weren't written in my hand. And this song fell out in a minute flat, words and music just like that. Go smaller. Last night I opened my guitar case, found some words on a pale white page that weren't written in my hand. And this song fell out in a minute flat, words and music just like that, ghost written by a dead man. Now let's try making it bigger. Last night I opened my guitar case Found some words on a pale white page That weren't written in my hand And this song fell out in a minute flat Words and music just like that Ghost written by a dead man And he says this one's for those who dare to dream From a young buck with a song to sing Last night I opened my guitar case Found some words on a pale white page That weren't written in my hand And this song fell out in a minute flat Words and music just like that Was dampening? Last night I opened my guitar case Found some words on a pale white page That weren't written in my hand and this song fell out in a minute flat Words and music just like that Ghost written by a dead man As you can see, each parameter affects the others. So tweaking one of them kind of forces you to tweak the others. And adding this EQ will just give us more control over the top end and the low end. Last night I opened my guitar case Found some words on a pale white page That weren't written in my hand And this song fell out in a minute flat Words and music just like that Ghost written by a dead man I think you get the idea. This is the Reverb 8 Reverb plugin that comes with Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.